Welcome back. You're still watching Good Morning Namibia. As we continue off with the conversations this morning, the three-day Global Africa Hydrogen Summit has concluded in Fintig, where over a thousand delegates gathered to discuss substantial issues around green hydrogen. Now, at the end of the summit, deals were sealed, agreements signed, and partnerships Formed. To tell us more about one of the partnerships agreement that was formed is Mark Brownstein, who is from the Environmental, Def no, the Environmental Defense Fund Senior Vice President, President of Energy Transition. Mr. Brownstein, good morning. Good morning. Thank, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Your first time in Namibia. First of all, before we get to the summit, how is it? Oh my God! <laughs> it, it, it is. It's a. It's a. It's an undiscovered secret. I think. Oh, all right. That both the beauty of the place and mm -hmm. the beauty of the people. It all really right. has been very, very impressive. Amazing. So you'll definitely be coming back to Namibia. Oh, I'll be coming back, and I'll be telling all my friends too as well. All right. How did you find the Green African Hydrogen Summit? Well, this was at a very important conference. Mm -hmm. Of course, as you know, uh, climate change is bearing down on uh, all the countries of the world. Yeah. Um, and Namibia has um, a, a real opportunity to play a leadership role in developing solutions that are not only good for the African continent, but really good for the world. And this conference was an opportunity to really explore those, uh, to explore those, those, those um, challenges, mm -hmm. opportunities. Yeah. Now, can you just talk to us about the Africa Practice and Environmental Defense Strategic Partnership? What does it entail? So uh, Environmental Defense Fund, uh, for, uh, for the viewers who may not be familiar with us, we're an environmental NGO. So we work um, with uh, business, we work with government, uh, we work with civil society, with the investment community, all stakeholders to develop uh, environmental solutions to the world's most pressing environmental problems. Mm -hmm. And of course, climate change is uh, you know, the, the single biggest problem that we all face. Yeah. And so this partnership with Africa Practice is really in a long tradition of Environmental Defense Fund finding ways to partner um, with, uh, with um, organizations and institutions um, uh, around the world mm -hmm. um, to develop uh, sustainable solutions. Yeah. And, and, and this partnership in particular is, re is really focused on um, how do we accelerate the energy transition in ways that create opportunity uh, for countries like Namibia? How do we create opportunities for the continent of Africa as we work to solve problems? Amazing. Now, when we talk about partnerships, how can Africa at large just form critical partnerships that can forge ahead with green hydrogen projects? Well, a Africa is rich in resources and always has been. The challenge, of course, in the past has been how those resources are, um, are distributed around the world. We want to make sure that as, uh, as the rich resource, the renewable energy resource that is here, uh, the rich uh, mineral resources that are here, as, as, as those resources are tapped to create environmental solutions for the climate crisis, mm -hmm. um, that we're creating economic opportunity around those uh, the development of those resources so that um, we're not only providing uh, new products and services for the world, but we're creating economic opportunity and economic development right here in Namibia. All right. Now, you mentioned that the NGO is all about um, addressing issues around climate change, but looking at this new partnership, how would it address issues around climate change on the continent, perhaps specifically in Namibia? Yes. Well, um, one of the biggest challenges when you talk about addressing the climate crisis are, is the pollution that comes from transportation, mm -hmm. cars and trucks and ships and airplanes. And in particular, uh, ships and airplanes are very challenging. Um, you know, fossil fuels are uh, a key uh, reason why ships and planes are as successful as they've been, but we need to move away from fossil fuel dependence. Um, Namibia has established a strategy of developing hydrogen, specifically green hydrogen, as a fuel for the world's ships and planes. Yeah. Um, and, um, and, and so we and our partners at Africa Partnership want to uh, promote the development of green hydrogen here in Namibia and on the continent. But we also want to make sure that as we do, 
uh, work to develop this new resource that we develop in the most res environmentally responsible way possible. All right. Mr. Bronstein, how would you describe Namibia's green hydrogen setup? Well, first of all, it's, it's, it's a visionary approach. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, the need to develop alternative fuels for shipping and aviation is a pressing problem. Um, not only for the African continent, but for, uh, for, the, for the world at large. Um, and the shipping and aviation industry are really, uh, you know, reaching out for, uh, for, new, for new solutions. Um, Namibia, because of its abundant re uh, renewable resource, the sun, the wind, mm -hmm. and also its proximity to water, the ocean, um, really gives it a strategic advantage um, in the in the race to develop these new resources. Yeah. Okay. The question, of course, is, is can we do this in a way um, that protects uh, the beautiful ecosystem, the land here in Namibia? And can we also do it in a way um, that makes sure that, um, that um, the local community is really part and parcel of developing the solution? Yeah. Definitely important to involve everybody. But what do you think are some of the conversations that Africans are supposed to be having in order just to address some of the green hydrogen issues on the continent? Yeah. Well, so first of all, um, to to what uh, let's talk about what green hydrogen is. Perhaps mm -hmm. so. Green hydrogen, all it really is, is basically taking electricity and using that electricity to separate the hydrogen that's in water, H two O, and and break that apart. So break the, the hydrogen and the oxygen, mm -hmm. okay? And then use that hydrogen either as a fuel directly, because it burns, yeah. or to use it to make other fuels and feedstocks like ammonia, which can also be used for industrial processes. So that's what we're talking about, okay? So the first question is, is, you know, is the electricity that we're using to break apart that H and that O2 is that electricity coming from green sources, sun, and, 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 and wind. That's the first challenge. The second challenge is that while hydrogen is a much better alternative than oil and gas, because it doesn't have carbon, um, it, hydrogen itself can uh, make the climate worse if it escapes into the atmosphere. Mm. And so we need to make sure that as we move forward, we're designing systems that uh, keep the hydrogen in the pipe where it does good um, and, uh, and that we monitor those systems to make sure that what we design actually performs as we want it to. All right. So what is your overall view of the just concluded Global Africa Hydrogen Summit? Well, um, this was the first time yes. that a global summit was was held here on the continent on the issue of hydrogen. Mm -hmm. and, and for the first time in Namibia. And the first time in Namibia. And, <laughs> I, think right. it's, I, and I think it's, it's, it's telling uh, of the world leaders that came here. Mm -hmm. uh, all of them pay tribute to the, to the leadership that Namibia has shown mm -hmm. on the issue of climate change and on the issue of hydrogen. And so Namibia has really established itself as, a, as, a, as an important global voice. Uh, first, for the imperative of addressing climate change and second, in developing green hydrogen as one of the solutions. And so all we hope to do is work to encourage and support that leadership and also hope to add what value we can to make sure that it is the greenest and cleanest possible solution for, uh, for Namibia and for the world. All right. Mr. Brownstein, thank you so much for joining us on Good Morning Namibia and welcome to Namibia once again. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. That was Mark Brownstein, the EDF, a senior vice president, energy transition, joining us this morning, just giving us an overview of the Global Africa Hydrogen Summit that just concluded. Don't go anywhere. More conversations coming your way.